Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nancy Casanova and today I wanted to show you a tool called Milanote. It has really transformed how I write and create content and it's a really awesome tool. I feel like if you are in the process of doing a lot of creative writing, a lot of creative projects like website branding, um, redesigns or doing any type of storyboards for video production this is gonna be a really great tool for you I discovered it about a year ago and what impressed me the most was that I was used to using some like notes app on my phone or a combination of like Evernote and an app on my phone but I found that Milanote was really cool I I like the concept of being able to bring in different elements that had inspired me throughout my research of a specific topic and I really like the ability to bring in like videos, quotes, photos, and if there was a certain vibe or something that I was trying to really um, emulate in the creative work, I wanted to make sure that it aligned. And so I also like the simplicity of Milanote. There isn't a lot of things that are preventing you from doing your creative writing. One of the things that Milanote does is it allows you to do like long form writing. So if you easily get distracted, I find that Milanote is a perfect place for me to just just go in there and write and get into a flow. Um, another thing that is really awesome about Milanote is that it enables like non-linear brainstorming. And what I mean by that is that sometimes there's things that are like organized in a circle, or things that are organized in a list or a checklist. Um, sometimes there's a combination of video or images that are sort of inspiring a certain mood or vibe. And so I like the ability to do that and leave myself clues of what I'm trying to portray. And I find that that has been really um, like enabled while using Milanote. So I wanna give you a tour of how I've set mine up and how you can maybe set yours up. There's no right or wrong way to setting this up, but I find that if you do it in a way that um, really caters to your mind and how you like to see things, it can really inspire like a flow for you. Something I wanna to mention too is you might be thinking about like the cost of Milano. It's free to use. I initially started as a free user, but over time I noticed that I kept adding a lot of notes and a lot of um, space into it. And so I, I ended up starting like using the free version and now I've transitioned to using the paid one. It's not that expensive. It's totally worth it if you ask me. Um, the prices might change, so I'll link like their pricing in the in the description of this video so that if you want to check it out you can and let's get started so one of the first things you'll notice when you open up milanote is that you're gonna have a blank gray canvas and this is all stuff that i've customized and added in for my own account so the images i dragged and dropped all of these icons are customizable you can um, add in your own icon or choose your own color or select the icon that you want to represent the folder and then inside of it, you can make use of arrows, different notes, different little labels to make sure that it aligns with what you want to see when you open up the folder. Um, this is some examples of things that I've created, like I use it for one of my vision boards. So I have like images that I look at on a daily basis just to kind of keep me motivated and inspired. This is more of like some of the personal things that I've added, but for my more um, formal things that I do, like my writing for my YouTube channel or my blog posts, I have a workflow and checklist that I follow so that everything helps me move forward and gets me to like the completion part of my process. Inside of here, this is where I do my script writing, right? And I organize everything by A roll, B roll. I have made use of Milanote's um, storyboard templates, which is great. I don't like sketch all of this, but I just use their template. I also use um, my own things for like my content and channel strategy. This is how I've sort of organized it in my head and that makes sense for me. So let's build out a folder so that you can kind of get an idea of how you can drag and drop and use all of their features. Every time you click on the new board, you can customize it to whatever color you want. You can upload an image or you can also search for an icon and make it according to what you want to see. So this is just me kind of testing it out so that you can kind of see what this looks like. And again, the reason my icons are a different color on my homepage is because I went ahead and like customized them myself using like Canva. Um, but you can always change the colors so that, you know, maybe you like them a certain like black and white or you want them to represent something else. I just put images of what was in my desktop, so this is what you'll see. So inside, this is what you can add in. You can add in columns, comments, sketches, colors, documents, audio files, maps, like videos or other texts that you want to like 
bold and, and make really um, apparent. And so once you have some elements, you can start dragging and dropping things and renaming them according to what you want them to look like. Um, I really love the drag and drop features because it just makes it like what you see is what you get kind of process and adding in images is really easy. It's connected with Unsplash so if you're ever looking for some inspiration you can always um, go here and it, it's like really seamlessly integrated. I love the use of arrows because sometimes one thought leads to another and this is just an example of how you can kind of connect the dots with different um, roadmaps or processes that you want to like go off on a tangent. Another thing that Milanote offers is the ability to use their templates and the templates are really fun because they come organized with ways that you can repurpose it and when you use a template you can keep the example content so that you can just replace it with your own and then you can also save your own templates that maybe you created your own template and you want to keep reusing it you can do that too so these are just different examples of some of the templates that are available these could be for like creative projects if you're working with an agency or if you are working on like some creative branding projects these are just some ideas that you can um, use for your next project I really like the mood board one. The storyboard one is also one that I've made use of um, and I think that it's really awesome that there's something that might be like um, that you could use here but you repurpose it for something else like maybe um, like a productivity tip or prioritization. There's just a lot that you can draw from and make it your own and customize it. And then another thing is that if you're thinking about using this for like creative projects, there's also some like personal planning things that you can make use of. So if you're interested in having like a weekly workflow, you can make use of their templates and then customize it and um, make it work for how you, you like to organize things. And so that's sort of like an example of how you can make use of, of Milano. This is like one way you can do long form writing and then you can also customize the colors in the background or you can just customize the top strip. Okay, so now that you've gotten to see an example, different examples of how Milanote can be set up, I hope that it gives you some ideas of how you can um, go ahead and use it and implement it for yourself. One of the cool things is that I think Milanote can be used if you're using it on your own personal level for personal projects, whether you're brainstorming projects for a client or if you might be working with a team. Um, there are some examples of templates that Milano provides, which are for like collaborative work and agency type projects. So that's something to consider depending on where you are in your career and your creative work. Um, also, if you need some help in organizing your ideas, I do have a video that I will link to and it allows you to really give you some ideas of how you can structure your content and your ideas so that they become something tangible that you can use later. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would love to hear your feedback and let me know what you enjoyed the most or if there's something that you'd like me to expand on in the future. Um, until then, please be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.